are there for you that would help if I put the dice in the shaker isn't it mm -hmm. maybe you're a bit absent-minded at this moment in time darling yes you have to have reminders like an elastic band to, to on your wrist or something or a scrunchie so that you when you slap it against your wrist you remember what you're supposed to remember either that or you'll beat yourself silly dive in. Oh, good golly and gosh. You have the energy. Can you see it? Of a six. Sliding all over the place. Okay, we'll rest this here for a moment. Let me see you where you are on the low shoe grid. What's coming towards you, darling dears? You don't see coming. Maybe this is why you've had brain fog. Mm -hmm. This is a um, low shu grid, Chinese numerology. The energy of the eight speaks about a new level of wisdom and growth. Darling dear, it's your spiritual growth, darling dears. You've gone within. Bravo. Fist bump. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you have got to a stage of self-actualization in the, in the sense of forgiving everything learning from your mistakes, taking those L's and turning them to W's, darling dears. A full-on W. Mm -hmm. This is represented by a north-easterly direction, darling dears. As well as earth energy, according to Chinese numerology. So you're in your element, because earth energy is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It also speaks about something in early spring. Something in early spring started for you, darling dears. Maybe it was the self-actualization or the completion of a certain mission, learning of the lessons, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the eight also speaks about what you being in pursuit of your goals, listening to your intuition, your discernment, your inner wisdom, darling dears. Why? Because it's on point at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. The negative side to the eight is about you what don't be too focused on the materialistic Taurus even though that is your forte mm -hmm. because you can also get added value or extra value from the non-material darling tears things that you can't you can't touch and feel in the sense of what spiritual ascension darling is true discernment being covered by the grace of the most high father god mother isis being able to intuit when to turn left when you was going right Pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth proof. Pink is up. Good golly and gosh. I love it. I don't hate it. Oops, did I give you a bit of vertigo then? Excuse me, Marcy will play. Mm -hmm. Let's drop down and get our eagle on. We have the energy of the two, darling dears. It speaks about what this is going to be an extremely fortunate period for you. Pay attention, darling dears. You're going to be getting gifts. Um, compliments. Some of you be asked on dates. It's also about business matters, darling dears, going in your favour. Something that you secured possibly in the early spring, darling dears, or you started to make fast movement, darling dears. This is what's going to, I just felt it in my tummy, darling dears. The truth has been spoken. Pinkies up. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, forward movement. If you're planning the journey, darling, this it will go smooth. But as always, as a big catch, you examine all of the details and the fine print to make sure that you've got your insurance. If you are traveling abroad, mm -hmm. we have the energy of the form. It also speaks about what communication, either you have it coming in or you're going to have to put it out there, darling, is some level of communication which is about to change the trajectory of what's going on in your life at this moment in time, darling, is something that you've been working on, but you're going to turn everything into your favor. The energy of the six speaks about bringing things into what harmony and balance in your favor. Why? You're going to get teamwork from any efforts you put out there. Full on cooperation. Love it. The energy of the six is ruled by Libra as well as you, yourself, darling, is Taurus energy. Why? Because it's Venus. Venus is about Skrilla.com. It's about money, finances. It's about beauty, darling, dears. You are an extremely creative cat, Taurus placement. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you using... You have this this magnetism about you, darling, dears, which creates a bonding energy with those you share to open your hemisphere too, darling, dears. You've learned how to protect your energy. It also speaks about you being extremely nurturing, whether you are male or female. But at this moment in time, luck is on you like white on rice, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. But definitely communication, as well as in your communication, is more on point, in balance, Libra energy, more cerebral, darling, dears. Yes, you are. Why? Because that's where all the answers, they come from within. You have a new knowledge, but it also speaks about a challenge. Is going to be what in the offing for you. Your spirit animal may be, um, um, oh my gosh, come on, case. Maybe the eagle or some kind of a bird, but I'm feeling eagle. Your name could be Dawn or something happened at Dawn, darling. There's something to do with a watch, a watch, a set, a watch or a clock, some kind of a timer, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be getting lots of thoughts and ideas about what creating a new level of justice for yourself well it's your season darling is you have the energy of the two mm -hmm. together it goes to a six so this is venus energy which we already called out darling is you could be a life past six or 33 33 is telling me that you indeed are a master manifesto at this moment in time and it's also encouragement to let you know that you have the the what big cat badass alchemist ways so this is about you what continuing to what focus your thoughts on what you want to bring towards you because it's a dawn and a new day for you darling dears mm -hmm. something significant around the spring equinox the energy of air is ruled by archangel raphael call him at any time darling dear somebody's got to be a guest at this moment in time listen you know when you've got that unfortunate gas in your stomach and you try to walk around to spread it out, but they still know it's you, right? The trail of the smell goes back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, or maybe somebody may be pontificating, darling dears, with their ideas. Very, very what? Upsetting, darling dears. This is also a sign for you to what? Sometimes silence is king all of the time. When you when you are silent, you're able to what? Put your third eye on bitches and mitches, darling dears, and understand what's going on. And the silent person in the room is the wisest. Why? You get to see everybody else's reaction, right? And when you are silent, slow to speak, darling dears, people value your opinion more. Remember I told you that? Big cat controls the room. Why? You are in control of your own mental health, your well-being, and you fully understood the assignment when you went into self-actualization. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get the energy of Venus. We have a two and a four. I, I normally would go for the sixth house, but I feel as though I have to bring out the second and the fourth house. I'm being pushed towards that, darling, dears. Venus is coming through before and it speaks about your manifestation of a stable foundation. I believe Venus came out in your last read as well, darling dears. It's a sign. Pay attention, darling dears. The growth of it all. Venus also speaks about what? Self-worth. Yeah, the self-actualization actually puts your self-worth status up into the what? Hemisphere, darling dears. The stratosphere. How about that? Mm -hmm. Love it. <coughs> Okay, I feel inclined to get the second and the fourth house, darling, dear. So the second house is about your resources. It's yourself, um, Taurus. Okay. I've got the second house owning. 
and the fourth house is about your roots so the roots speak about your ancestral protection it also speaks about family members outside your immediate family darling there's maybe all eyes are on your throne yeah maybe people are watching you what own your existence the persona you was meant to portray on this Malkuth, darling dears. Mm -hmm. We've got the two and the six on the owning, darling dears. And definitely, this is about money. Skrilla.com, darling dears. Yes. And if we take it to the what? To the eighth house. The eighth house is other people's money that's coming towards you. I see the signing of contracts, darling dears. People are about to see whom you truly are, darling dears. You're full on gangster. Why? Energy of the Taurus. You did it by the sweat of your proverbial balls. It, the second house also speaks about you use some kind of talent, some kind of gift or skill. Yeah, this is your resource, darling. There's something that is in you, not on you. Yeah, your self-worth is up and up. You may have a position in um, a government a government job of some sort, darling. Dears. The second is juxtaposed to the eighth house and again, other people's money. We saw the energy of the eight on the cards, darling. Dears. Love it. Mm -hmm. the fourth house is coming through with a 10 10 is about ending of a cycle this is renewal darling dears possibly a renewal of contract or the what ending of a cycle a new contract is on the tableau the 10 goes down to a one the energy of the one is the opportunities that are opening up for you darling dears this is a new beginning for you Mm -hmm. why because you're original you did something original darling dears you are not like other cats remember i told you that taurus placements you stand out from the crowd with your what learn itself and you know how to get to the bag darling dears the skrilla.com why because you're using your talents your gifts it also speaks about the past and we've got the roots energy out here yeah we're speaking about family members and I'm inclined to say the roots energy, darling, dears. They're looking at your standing in public. They try to ruin your reputation. Yes, they did, darling, dears, but they really can't. Why? Your skills, your gifts are what? Speaking for themselves. Some of you may even be signing a contract and stepping into fame. This is also some form of backative, darling, dears. It could be the backative of what? A loan, a business loan, an idea expansion. Maybe you've learned a new skill, darling, dears, which you are going to utilize amongst your your armory of skills. Love it. I don't hate it. Something to do with um maternal grandfather, maternal grandmother, an accident. Be careful. Yeah. Um, the first house is Aries, which is Mars energy, darling dears. So they could have an accident, um, something to do with their um, back stitch. Listen, when you get older, you ain't in control of nothing, mate. And if you need to go to the toilet, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Also, it speaks about the genitalia, something to do with blood. Um, yeah, the head area. But it also speaks about the grandparent. There's, they're having ang bouts of anger, feeling everybody's deception. I'm feeling a confusion of the mind, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Medical attention must be sought. In, in um, Jamaica, we use soursop. Yeah, soursop. Soursop juice. You can now get the extract or the powder. Yeah, it works wonders, darling dears, for a number of ailments. Mm -hmm. That's sour, S-O-U-R-S-O-P. Okay, let's carry on, darling dears. Let's carry on. Okay, so we have we have some relatives looking in at what you've got going on, darling dears. They possibly even try to ruin your reputation, but you are in a season of Dharma. Why are you honoured this new role as um as what? Maybe even the first of your lineage to do something different, darling dears to do with the roots maybe you are in tune with your ancestral team maybe you are highly spiritual whatever it is going on for you darling dears in your early foundation you will know that you had a, a connection to spirit by by psychic abilities knowing things that you didn't know hearing voices seeing things maybe at the time in your younger years you was unable to explain it or you was what shut down darling dears from explaining your truth why you was different from the rest you were sent as their guide their protector and oh child, well guess what? All eyes on the throne, darling dears. I can't make this up. Mm -hmm. You learn law number 22 of the 48 laws of power. How to what transform um your weaknesses into a strength, darling dears. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You learn to what? Law number 40, avoid the free lunch. Why? There's always something on the back end without the Vaseline, darling, dears. Yeah, you learn law 17 to be unpredictable. They couldn't predict it. You learn law number four. You say less, moving in silence, champion. And most of all, you learn the full breadth of law number 10. Avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. I know, darling dears. I know. Well, some energies are being sent your way, darling dears. Okay. I'm going to use my FP555 Oracle Intel deck. I've got two and I've mixed them together. Why? Who go and check me, boo? Turn off the... Listen. What's this? Dark night of the soul. Somebody's going through the dark night of the soul. Right? They're getting a boomerang effect. Why was they in there? Because they tried to throw something at you. Yeah, an offer. And it's telling you to be brave. What did I tell you? You have something being offered to you, darling. There's an opportunity that is being created to, for you at this moment in time. Maybe they was trying to block your blessing or take you down a peg or two. Or make you be in the position that confirmed all of these nasty things they've been saying. What did I say? A full-on blessing blocker, darling. Yes. I can't make this up. Yeah, pinky is up. Mm -hmm. Why? The energy of the four houses, your ancestral team, your security. Why? It's rich white lady season for you, darling dears. Full on. Mm -hmm. Outrageous, I know, darling dears. They're sending something bad at you. Let's see what's going on here. Why have we come to this? Listen, well, it's a boomerang effect. Whatever they expected for you, darling, this is happening to them in real time. Why? Time has speeded up. Didn't you know? Mm -hmm. Let's get a deck. It's along the floor. So it must be coming through the door. It fell face up. Four of Pentacles. This is your mental health. It also speaks about securing something, some kind of a new level of security, darling dears. Somebody's also bought a home, a car, something, something's tangible. You've got tangible things, darling dears. You're in a position to what? Make more. You'll be owning more. Mm -hmm. But it's not about the material stuff, darling dears. It's about the non-material. What did you learn from these lessons? Base of the deck, it's you and your element, the Hierophant energy, darling dears. You may be a, a teacher. You've been sent to teach as well as be the eternal student, darling dears. Yeah, because anyone who says they know any everything, run away from them, darling dears. They're a foolio and they want to infect you with foolishness. Yeah, no one knows everything. This is why we must learn. This is how you what grow, darling dears. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually and financially. It also speaks about being set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody's about to attend some kind of a ceremony. It could be a wedding or an engagement. Someone is also going to be going into formal training, darling. There's a new level of discipline, possibly spiritual training. This is about you, what, holding on to your values and beliefs. You have a new level of um, level of boundaries, darling. There's. It also speaks about you having, what, the gift of the gap. You have the, the art of speaking. Listen, throat chakra. Mm hmm Okay, the Venus energy frequency is 639, mm -hmm. and the throat chakra is 741. Play these frequencies at night time when you're sleeping, darling dears, so you can get all of your communications out. Energy of the four. Mm. A bit of a so who's going through the dark night of the soul? Why is it going through the dark night of the soul? Let's see. choice darling dears what did they choose to do bad things when we see the um king of swords on his face it speaks about because king of swords is all about communication but it's something that's done in the dark darling dears they wrote something down something was written on some kind of paper some kind of parchment paper look hermit listen in the reverse oh my gosh what's the matter with these people will they never learn they're repeating mistake after mistake. This is why they're stuck in the what boomerang effect, darling dears. What they try to what achieve with you. One's is fire energy. They want it to affect your possibly even your motor skills, your mental health. Yep. They listen, they try to send the spirit of confusion to you, darling dears. But it was unsuccessful. Six of ones. Good golly and gosh. 
Listen, baby. I know, bestie. I know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of talk about you, darling. Just people can't see exactly what's going on in your life. So there's a lot of speculation. A lot of speculation. Narcissist, definitely king of king of swords on its face. People that are self-serving. These are people that are bitter and unsatisfied, unable to what communicate their true emotions. They're emotionally stuck, darling dears. They don't know what love is. These are pretenders. Pretenders. Yeah, and they're amongst the crowd of a crowd of what dummy bats just like them. Tell me about the boomerang effect. Yeah. They manifested that she's naive, darling dears. Yeah, with a quickness. Mm -hmm. When you plan for someone, darling dears, you must always plan for what? A deeper and darker plan for yourself. Yes, I told you. It's affecting their mental health, their finances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about a lot of debt, darling dears. I can't make it up. Look what fell on the floor in the upright and here it is in the reverse. Mental health issues, darling dears. Financial stability. This is the calling in of loans. Unable to meet their... <clears throat> basic requirements, darling dears. Yeah, so they're calling what? Tricks the mode, darling dears. They tricked a lot of people into what? Believe in their stories. Yeah, with the things that they told. It was quick to rush in with a story about you. Look, Page of Swords. Yeah, with this immature, bitter energy, darling dears. Look, the Page of Swords is looking at the Five of Wands. They wanted to cause confusion in your life. Tell me about the brave. Tell me about the brave. Thank you. Moon energy, darling dears. Listen to your intuition and discernment in that situation. That's why you was able to what? Move away quickly, darling dears. Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck because you realize you was in a den of iniquity. Mm -hmm. Your father energy may have passed on already. This father never really poured into you, darling dears. They never created no stable foundation. Maybe there was an issue that caused this what lack of lack this feeling of abandonment. This is why you possibly went with him. Yeah. yeah. Liars, darling dears. And it also speaks about any apology that you have coming from. And it's fake. Yeah, because you have an offer coming towards you. Death, offer of a new beginning, darling dears. Love it. And again, we're back in the eighth house. I can't make this up, darling dears. The eighth house is the house of karma. As well as what? Money, darling dears. You're about to get a or create a new legacy, something that you're going to have to get insured. Mm -hmm. Eight pounds, the house of other people's money. As I said, it could be in a loan, but it's also the acquiring of some form of asset. Yeah, the offer is definitely coming towards you, darling dears. I can't make it up. You don't even see it coming in. Why? Because you've been working so hard to what? Free yourself from, from past things, things in your past, your early childhood. Yeah, you have. Listen. Nothing like a bit of clarity and the truth, roof, spiritually guided, ace of swords. And again, it speaks about a new level of beginning. You are in big boss genius mode, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you calling in like-minded individual soul tribe, darling dears. This is about you, what, forgetting about the pain. Listen, yeah, you can forget about the pain. But you will never forget about how it made you feel. But you have to change your feelings around it. Don't put emotion into it. When you put the emotion into these feelings, darling dears, that is what puts you on the what? Rinse and repeat. And we ain't that, we, we're not having that because it wouldn't be good. Chariot energy. Mm -hmm. That will make, put you back on the hamster wheel of being stuck. Tell me about the blessing blocker. Mm. Good golly and gosh, what did I say? They spell work was sent your way, darling dears. Queen of Wands on her face, right? To get you mentally stuck, physically stuck, unable to speak your truth, darling dears. Be in situations where you are on the bottom, darling dear. People giving you breadcrumbs, you're in debt, your mental health not being right. Yeah, but they didn't know that you'd slip through that burden. Why? Because of the spiritual strength and protection. And again, it's the energy of the eight with the infinity sign of the magician, darling dears. you got the badass alchemist ways. Listen... They need to get the memo. No, don't give them no memo. They need communicative dance of two of these and one of those. That's love and light. Mm -hmm. I told you, darling dears, when you feel the negative energy, first thing you do, look in the mirror, look into your eyes, and wipe down your right arm, chuck it away, then left, chuck it away, then right, chuck it away. Then you take a deep breath, four in, put the your tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, four breaths in, eight out, 
do it three times and then put your hand on your heart and ask yourself has this negative energy been removed you'll get the feeling darling is you'll know if you need to keep repeating that particular action i told you you're a spiritual badass mm -hmm. more fool than me give me some more intel on what go to a different deck okay oh good golly oh gosh and he broke down everything here. Yeah, I'm working hard. Mm, look, base of the deck. Jealousy is darling. Just jealousy is the root of all wickedness. Some kind of spell work was chopped your way. Mm -hmm. Listen. But it didn't work. What did I say? The boomerang effect of it all, darling. Just touch not the anointed. No. No. The universe says no. Right? Mm -hmm. They're going for it, darling dears. They're going for it, right? These thirsty ass bottom feeders with their tree sloth ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Directing all their anger at you, darling dears. Look, but whatever they try to send your way, it's been interrupted because it was selfishly done, darling dears. And when they're sending out all of this energy, Queen of Wands, this is someone that does the graveyard Watuzi. Yeah, they will get the dirt to put on your name, bury your name on parchment paper. We saw the King of Swords in reverse. Something was written. You're like, who, me? Yes, you, big cat. It was you. Who it was directed at, right? You say, but I don't know, because you're you. That's why. You have the gift of healing. You have the gift of what? Discernment and intuition, darling dears. Many people don't have it. These people are on the rinks and repeat and they're under what? The blessing blockation that they, they what tried to put on you. Boomerang effect, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get another deck and see what else is going on. I keep knocking over this microphone. Let's see if I can get it to rest like that. Nope. Is that better? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's get a thing. Let's get another deck. Yeah, back front neck tabbers, darling, is they came with the blade, but you got the ace of swords, remember, in the upright for clarity and truth. And what spiritual guidance? Pay attention, darling, is pay attention. Mm. Yeah, and separation was necessary, darling, is yeah, because they made like you, they made it out like you weren't enough, but yet they still watch you. These mouth breathers trying to see if their spell work worked. Well, guess what? You can't break what you didn't make. You went to your heart. Did what did I say about the self actualization, darling dears? You have a date, an offer, something coming towards you because you managed to heal your heart. Yeah. Mm hmm. What's this? Not today, Satan. You saw it jump on the what? Dark night of the soul. This karmic relationship, this karmic darling dears, they're going through it. And that's their business. I think I'm going to leave it there. On that note, I drops me mic. Toddle over to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read, hit me up in the Gmail. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Be cat way. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.